Hey everyone, welcome back to Terra Studios. My name is Ken and we are back with Legends of Rune Terra. Alright, so as usual, it opens up on the claim reward screen. So let's just claim our reward real quick and then I'll explain what's going on. What do we got? Burst Toss 4? I don't even know what that means. What does that mean exactly? Grant me plus one, plus one, and challenger once you've cast a six plus spell. Okay. Um, these cards look okay. Ooh, Teemo. I wanted Teemo. Oh, I wanted him. I'm going to have to make a new deck for him. Because he doesn't fit my deck now, I don't think. Oh, wait. Actually, he does. Let's deck change. All right, so I have made a deck, and that's what we're going to do this video. This video, I'm going to show you what my deck has in it. And then we're going to test it out on a couple people. We're not going to do the challenges. Uh, this may be a shorter video, depending on how many matches I do. But I just wanted to showcase this deck for two reasons. One, because I really love the deck. Uh, but two, because surprisingly, I've been playing for the past couple days um, pretty frequently. And I haven't seen anyone else use this kind of deck before, which is really strange for me. So it's Giant Potos. I told you I was going to make a Poto deck. I told you it was going to happen. Okay, so my deck consists of... Uh, Portos. Now, I really wanted to try and make a Porto deck because they're so cute. So, I did. So, basically, we have all the... Oh, I could have taken those out, actually. Because I very rarely use that. And what did I take out? Ah, that's fine. We'll see how it goes. So, we have all Portos. Daring Portos. Every Porto that I had... Porto. Porto. You have to put that... Any Porto that I had... We, uh, I basically put it in here. And then I filled it in with things like Omenhawk. Uh, when you play Omenhawk, you grant plus one, plus one to the first two hours in your deck. I also put in, where are they? My big boys. Where are my big boys? These are a little harder to play, but where are they? There they are. A Verozen Hearthguard. So when I play him, he put, he gives every Poro in my deck plus one, plus one. Well, it gives all allies in your deck plus one plus one, but we're concentrating on aura, uh, Poros. Then I have some of these, the Aurora Porealis. I love it. It's so cute. So it creates two random Poros and two Poro snacks. So what are the Poro snacks, you ask? Well, where are they? Where are my Poro snacks? Here we go. So a Poro snack, it costs three, which is a little expensive, but it gives plus one plus one to all Poros everywhere. That is amazing. So basically, this what this deck consists of is a lot of Poros, and then my goal, long game, is to build them up so they're huge. And to do that, I have the Poro snacks and a couple things that I guess showed you, but I also have some of these cards. So now we have the Herder. The Herder just gives me another Poro ally. I Okay, so I also started using... Hold on, I'll show that in a minute. Stay on track. Okay, so we have some of these. Take heart. Grant a damage ally plus three plus three. So this is this is in combination. This can give my Poros even extra beefiness. I can make him get hit and then give him plus three plus three. I also have Professor Von Yip. He is golden in this deck. So I only have two of him, but he's golden. So whenever I so I summon him first, and then whenever I summon a one cost ally, it automatically grants him plus two plus two. So now originally I thought they had to have one power no it has to be one cost so i could have a uh six six was a poro i can have my my nope he's to three come on with this where's where's, where's a poro i could have my lonely poro be a four four at this point throw him in he still gets plus two plus two becomes a six six so i also have heart of the fluff now this was my the fluffed this was my golden card Right? So what this card does is it combines all of the portals that you have on your deck. And my kill condition for this was I have a lot of things that make daring portals. And what the good thing about them is they have elusive. So combine that with this, I would normally have like a 20, 25, 20 power, 25 toughness, heart of fluffed portal with elusive. Meaning they can't block it unless they have someone with elusive. And a lot of times they don't. So I'd be able to just go in and kill them right there as soon as I play this. And that was going good for a while. Then I started versing decks that have spells that either recall your uh, a unit. And when you when they recall my Heart of Fluffed, even if it's a 2025, it loses not only all its keywords, but it loses its power and toughness. So in your hand, you get, a, you get like a, a Poro card 
with a 4-4. So that kind of kills it. And then they also have kill this unit, a spell, which just killed the unit. So I originally had three of these in here. Um, I took one out. Now I'm playing two. I don't plan on playing it too much. This is more, now this has become more of like a one hit. So I have to have Poros in my hand before I use it. Otherwise, I don't want to take the chance of losing all of my Poros. Uh, so that's that. What else do we have? Any okay, so my champion is Braum, of course, because Braum is awesome. Now, here's the thing I found out. So Braum creates Mighty Poros, which was perfect for the deck because a lot of these things like um, the Poros Snacks and a couple other things in this deck, it gives him plus one, plus one, no matter, everywhere it says. So when he creates uh, a Mighty Poro, it gives that Mighty Poro that wasn't even in existence yet all the plus ones that have stacked so far. So he's just creating beefy Mighty Poros. And then what also ties to Braum is this card right here. I showed it to you already. Where is it? Okay. So this card ties to Braum perfectly. And again, another thing I haven't seen people play, and I'm so surprised. So... When you hit, so when, when you block someone with Braum, he loses health. And now he gain, regains health every every turn. So, but before he does that, if you save three mana, you can play this and make him a, give him plus three, plus three. So he'll be at three, five on your next turn. Or three, eight on your next turn. And you can keep doing it. So you can make Braum himself huge and beefy. And, hit, and the best part about that is he can challenge whoever he wants. So when I attack with Braum, I can pull in any unit of their own that I that I want to destroy. And he regains health every turn. So he becomes an unstoppable beast who's also producing Poros. Like, it's amazing how this works out. And then the final thing I put in, I hope I'm not going on too long, um, is counterfeit copies. And I love this card because you can play it two ways. So you pick a card in your hand and you shuffle four exact copies of it into your deck. So, what I've done so far is I've used it on Poro Snacks, which works great because you're just making more Poro Snacks to make your Poros bigger. I've also used it on Take Heart because I can make more plus three plus threes, and you can play those, like I said, on Braum or on the Poros themselves. So, this deck has been working out wondrous. Now, I don't win every time. Nowhere near it. Um, there are a couple of decks that have just flattened me, but I'm hoping adding Teemo to the mix will allow me a little leverage. It's the first time in a card game in general that I've played that I can honestly say I'm winning way more than I'm losing, which is really exciting. And it's about Poros. Look how cute that is. That's amazing. So let's no more, no more, no more fussing about. Let us get into a game. So like I said, uh, oh wait, actually before we get before we get into a game, actually, I want to show you one more thing, it, just in case you haven't played this game yet. Once you, so I had gotten through the prologue part of it. And once you do this, so this map keeps going up. This is how you earn cards. The cool thing is you can change your region. So I t use Free Freejord because that's, you know, I'm with Braum. So you'll earn, or you're more likely to earn, cards from your region. So once I get, I guess, past level 29 or up to level 29, I could switch to earn more cards from different regions. So I thought that was awesome, so I want to showcase it. Now, originally I was going to create, uh, if you remember, I had a Yeti as my icon, because I was originally going to create a creature deck. It was going to be a mix of Poros and Yetis and any other cutesy type of creatures they had, mainly because I didn't think I'd be able to manufacture an actual Poro deck. It's like in uh, Hearthstone. When I was playing Hearthstone, I always wanted to make a, a Moblin deck, but you never could because there wasn't enough good Moblins out there to make an actual deck around it. Surprisingly, I found this deck. All right, here we go. Okay, so now what I like to do is replace all the Poros as soon as they come out. Because I want... Nice. I want as many Poros to get as many stuff as possible. So if I can theoretically get these two out before I pull a Poro, that's more plus one, plus ones for them. Now, let's just hope I don't get destroyed. And I also found this out. Wait, ready? 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 Click. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, they play nothing, which is awesome. So I'm going to play my Omen. With them. So now, another thing I liked, and I realized this while playing, I'm good for the next two turns. Because they can't attack, if I want to hold off from playing things, um, I want to save that for a portal. And I want to save him, so I don't want to play anything. So now, I don't have to worry about playing anything. I can attack, he can't block. And now, 
I'm good. I know he's not going to destroy my Nexus because he can play some, but he can't attack this turn. And then I get my mana back. Pass. And now I got two mana in the thing for spells. Oh, this is actually going pretty well. Okay, so this is... I forgot to say why I use this. So I use this because I put um, Entreat in my deck because... Uh, I don't want to play you. Ooh, that's a tough one. Do I sacrifice him? Absolutely, of course. I don't care about him. Um, let's actually... Yeah, destroy a champion. Braum. Um, I couldn't pull Braum out in this deck. I don't know why, but it, it just would not let me. So now you can kill him, but in next turn I should get Braum. Okay, I also learned that Quick Attack is not like First Strike for Magic. Because, uh... I mean, I have three, but there's nothing I want to play, realistically, right? I can play him, but he doesn't heal anything. Let's pass. Let's pass for now and see what happens. Um, because in Magic First Strike, as far as I remember... Ooh, I want some of those cards, too. Oh, I can't. It's a different fraction. Fa Why do I keep saying fraction? It's faction. We're not doing math. Um, in Magic, First Strike happens whether you're attacking or blocking. In this game, it does not. It only it only matters while you're attacking. So now, I'm going to attack. Oh, I can't. Yeah, he's playing. I'm going to attack. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any. We go elusive now. All right. So at least I'll build up my brawn. And now he creates. No, so now, brawn on his first form. Creates a portal. Um, do we want to make him elusive? No, I want to attack with him. But I feel like I'm wasting these. Nah, that's a, um. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's make him elusive. Because I can still block with him. I, I keep forgetting. I keep. I gotta get it. When I play this game, I have to get out of the magic mindset that once you attack, you can still block. Lonely portal. Okay, so now I have five. And six. I could play this, but I think I'd rather get him out before I pull anything else out. Come on, sir. So now this is... The reason this card uh, is so worthwhile is because he gives everyone plus one, plus one in my deck. Not in my hand, just in my deck. But he's also a five, five. Right now, I plus three, plus three. So one of his allies in his hand is plus three, plus three. That's a little scary. Um, when you cast a spell, grant the top ally in your card plus one, plus one. So I also want to play that, too, actually. Um, I have five. And eh, no, let's play this. Many tribes under one banner. Many tribes under one banner. All right, so now he's gonna attack with something. I don't know what. Is he gonna attack with everything? I can take out his flying, his jeweled protector, and I could block. Oh, actually, I'll block that with Brom. Take that out, because then I can take that out next turn, and then my my mighty portal. My anti portal can take out one of these. Are you gonna go, sir? That's the the one thing I will say about this, and I don't know if it's because, and I'm a little scared because of the news that um, the mobile Magic Mobile was coming out. I was really excited for it at first, but now I'm starting to get a little nervous because a lot of these games take the other play takes a really long time. Um, well, I guess that happens in Magic now anyway, right? Uh, let's see. I don't have to heal anyone, so let's attack first, shall we? attack first and we're gonna pull in you and no i don't want to play my mighty portal because then he can destroy it he can destroy it now my only concern would be if he kills brawn because i that was a little risky because he could have a spell that gives him plus one plus one um normally i don't like to be that risky but i probably oh uh, yep plus three Oh, all right. Braun is gone. Um, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I can create. You know what? Let's set myself up for next turn. Now we got plenty of Poto snacks. Um, I can sacrifice something to create two daring Poto's. No, I'm good. Just do it. Oh, that was tough. See, and I knew it. I said, I said it as it was happening. I was a little nervous about that. Come on, just destroy my brawn. 
Now that's okay though, because I have more bronze in here. I just have they just have to get out. I need them to get out. Ooh, a six seven. Oh, that's not good. Piss. I won't play my lonely portal yet, because I have no real build. Like he's a two two, but I want him to be beefier. And we need something to answer a seven. Really? Let's see what we got. Oh, well, he's a six six. I think we play him next. Five. Alright. And then I wanna play maybe something else. Let's see what happens. She's a five four with quick attack. That's a champion. But she's a si oh with elusive. Oh, that's no good. I should have played my Poros next to make him bigger. All right, you know what? That's not bad. I can easily sacrifice that portal. I have more elusive portals in here. Oh, he's just he's just going for the table, isn't he? He's just going for the table. Which begs the question, what is he going to save? I mean, I don't really have a choice. I have to play it this way. I have to play it that way and see what happens. Please don't have any spells. I said, please don't have any spells. Ooh. Oh, yeah, of course he has a spell. Who's he saving, Jinx? Come on, guys. And he takes his spell away. Oh, gosh. It's taking forever. To play, discard one, deal three to anything? Well, I... Oh, because she has first strike. Oh, that stinks. All right, well, let's beef up a portal. Good. I had nothing else to do. So, yeah, Jinx survives because she has first strike. God, that hurts. All right, so now I need an elusive creature, right? So I'm going to have to sacrifice. Let's sacrifice... Um, Actually, cancel. Can you cancel? Let's play... Oh, I can't... Oh, yeah. That doesn't matter. Let's just continue. God, his board looks scary. He's a scary board. Let's see if we can come back from this. I'm, not, I'm still... And that's the greatest thing about this deck. I'm still pretty confident. Not confident that I'm going to win, but confident that we stand a chance because... All right, good. God, just stop. Stop playing cards so we can go to the next round. Thank you. Because... Oh, more portal snacks. So I can play two of those. Eight. But then I can't play a portal, right? All right, so I think what we do is we play this and get rid of you. Get rid of the healer so we can get two elusive portals. We put one out. This is two, two. And this is what I mean, because now all my one drops are going to be beefy. These cost one mana to play, and they're going to be huge. Oh, uh, come on with this. We're going to play another portal. And now we have two twos who are going to be four fours. Will that save us? Because he's a lot of guys on his board, though. Mm, I don't know if that will save us. He has quick attack. Oh, it doesn't matter, actually. So what I should do is get all my portos on the board because they're not attacking this turn. So they're just beefing up theirs. Um, let's get his challenger. That's nice. And let's play one more. And this way we can save up. I got another portal with spell shield, which is nice. And then we're going to end the round. So now we get three to play. Right? We got this bad boy. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So, when he goes, he might attack, but that's fine, because I can boost him up before he attacks. He is going to attack. That's actually fine. He thinks he's safe. But you're gone. Mm, you're gone. Yeah, you're not. No, oh, God. No matter what, I'm going to take some damage here. Let's play this. What is this? What is this? Deal two damage to the enemy nexus. Okay, that's fine. Get my boys big and beefy. All right, so you're gone, right? Uh, let's see, we got a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, that's the problem, isn't it? All right, so destroy you. 
destroy you, destroy you, and we're only going to take five unless he plays a spell. I had to let Jinx go because she has quick attack, so even on my 5-5, five five, she gets to attack first, and I would lose. But if my challenger survives, I put him in the wrong spot. I put him in the wrong spot. That is unfortunate. I should have had him survive because then I could have pulled Jinx in. And like I said, quick attack doesn't work when you're blocking. But that's okay because now my beefy poros have leveled out the playing field. And I didn't even get like a great starting hand for this. So, first things first. Let's play him. Um, do I want to play him? He's only a 3-3. Let's put my poro. And now I can technically save two. He can play a lot though. He has plenty of mana. He only has two cards though. What you gonna do? Oh, he has a Zed. Ooh, I don't like Zed. I mean, I like Zed. He's just... Okay, I want to cast the spell. So, let's do this. Why don't we do this? Why don't we sacrifice a healer? I know that's a, probably a mistake. I don't really actually use those sacrifice cards too much, but now he should give plus... Yep, plus one, plus one to my top player. And then I'm good to go. And now, I attack next turn, right? I attack. Can I get a brawn? I don't get a brawn. See? One, two, three, four, five. This is unfortunate time to get him. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack. And we're going to let him decide who dies. Should we attack with him? No, I want him. He can't attack with my evasive. He can't attack my evasive, so it's only my 5-4 and my 4-4. Four, four. And I don't think Zed brings out a copy of himself yet. Only one attacking. He's not going to let it all go through, is he? He's letting it all go through? Um, it's an odd choice. I can't play Professor Von Yip for the simple fact that... Ugh, it's unfortunate. Because he counts as a character, a uh, player. So if I play him, in order to get any use out of him, I'm going to have to start erasing some of my portos. And I don't want to do that. Alright, so I won then, right? Because all I have to do is survive this round if I can. Oh, uh, unless he has like a spell that eliminates two of my guys. So I think Time to play Recall an Ally. Alright, is he going to make him beefy? I don't... Okay, well I'm not playing... One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not playing anything. I have six guys out. And no spells. All right, he plays him again. All right, it's getting a little scary. Because the thing is, if he doesn't play another evas uh, elusive, I keep saying evasive. All right, this is where it gets a little scary. We have to survive here is the problem. So I have to block everybody. So, elusive, right? 5-4. Four, 4-4. Four. four. 4-1. 3-2. See if this works. Because I need one of my elusives. Yes, it does. No spells. Yes! I needed one of my elusives to win next game. Because he has no elusives out, so now nothing can block my elusive. Yes! Oh, good game. I also love the emotes because they actually do something. Oh, I play. Okay, we can play Von Rip now. Cause, so now I'll play him just so you can see what he does. So now I have a 4-4 four, four Poro, but it ends with 1, right? Watch this. Watch this specialness right here. Play him. Now from a 4-4, four, four, he goes to a 6-6. Six, six. That's why this card is so good. This, this, board, this is all about beefing up all my guys. And that is the way to do it. Actually, I have two elusive, so it doesn't matter. Good game, sir. Good game. This, okay. I'm glad this showed, because I hate that. I despise it. Okay, let me explain why. In Magic, when that happens, they just blow the crystal. And you get that feeling of, yes, I won. In this, when that little text comes up and it just says, your opponent surrendered, it takes everything out of it. It's so, oh, I, they need to remove that. And just have their crystal like it does. It swirls and blows up. Perfect. Don't let me know five seconds in advance. All right. So, oh, we got rewards, but we're not going to open them up. We're going to play one more match. If 
for the mighty portals. Oh yeah, I didn't even get to use my tum tum yet. My tum 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 tum. All right, so this is good because Grom, Gron, and the plus three put no Grom, right? Ooh, yes, he's out right out the gate. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, and this I could create four copies of Tem Timo, and that would give me mushroom caps that cost one. All right, so I'm gonna replace you and you. No, I'm gonna leave you. Just gonna replace the elusive Poro. I go first, so this is awesome. So if I get lucky and he doesn't play anything. Oh, he has elusive. So he has to play someone elusive. Oh, God. Yes. I. So I versed, I don't know if it was the AI or or what, but I versed Timo before. I've seen Timo before. And besides the fact that he's so adorable, um, his, his card looked really interesting, so I want to try it. So all I have to do is strike the Nexus three times. Oh, I'm a dingus. <laughs> I can't copy Timo now because I just used him. Oh, that's okay, though. That's okay. So what we're going to do is... Um, nothing. Nothing. I should, probably should have actually done that so I didn't waste, but that's okay. Your turn. So let's start off with attacking. So we plant more poison. Now, I don't know what these poison caps do. What do they do? What does it deal one damage to Nexus? Oh, that's cool. All right, so he goes. I'm getting... Wow, this is actually... This is really good. He's a really good champion for this deck, I think. No, 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 no. Save him. Save him. So I can't save him. I. That's unfortunate. Brom. Well, at least he got Brom out. Um, What else can we do here? I'm going to do this... And sacrifice you. I'll keep my puff puff. Maybe we can see what, how it looks. Alright, go ahead and kill my Temtem, -tem, you punk. Go ahead. I can't do anything. Kill my Temtem. -tem. Gotcha. My Timo. I keep saying Temtem -tem like that, that game that came out. No, it's Timo. Alright, so that's unfortunate. Um, So I have two. Let's play him. And I'm going to play my Lonely Portal next. So I get another portal. Rex Z35. Yeah, I am so surprised that no one has been playing this deck yet. Like, because honestly, from a, a design standpoint, it was super easy to build because I just threw in any portal that I had. I first, I looked at the, fra the factions. I was going to say fractions again. I looked at the factions to see which one had the most portals. And then that was it. Oh, we have to take, we have to use Braum first. Please don't attack. I don't want to take three. Don't attack. I don't want to take three. Can you know? Oh, he's a 1-6 already, too. Because, uh, what is this? What is this with the spells? So the only thing I noticed that I, this game doesn't ha deal two to all units. You son of a gun. This won't even save him. That won't even save him. Oh, he killed his own, though. I don't. Did he know that I was going to do that? I don't think so. I don't think he knew that. I think that was a, a mistake. I think he was... He thought that was only going to kill my unit. Oh, he is Challenger. What do you know? Are you going to try and challenge my 1-6 Braum? I don't think so. Unless he has a, a beefy boy. Something to beef him up. I can get Braum Elusive, which feels silly. Um, I have... Let's play him. And Poro Fly, because I think Poro Fly would have been protected, right? I think. I should actually... Should I... No. Ooh, I've struck twice. Now, this is kind of unfortunate. Because him striking Braun, I think, counts as striking, right? I think so. Um, boom. Make them big. And now Braun, attack. Yo. Actually, he has no mana to play. Yeah. I know I'm helping him as well. I'm aware of that. But this gets me closer to leveling up. And now I got a 4 4 portal that I can take him out. So. Do he is quick? No, he doesn't have quick attack. So come at me, bro. Oh, nope. I forgot. I forgot he has regeneration too. What does this do? Draw a champion. I could draw another Braum. Ooh, I could draw another Braum. <gasps> okay, so if you didn't know this yet, when you have a Braum on the field. Ooh. 
and you play a Brom, it turns into Brom's counter. So Brom's counter is give plus three plus three. Uh, Make an ally elusive. I don't have enough to play that, so I'm okay. So now I want he has no mana again. Oh, but he could pull in Brom, which would be unfortunate. Because then I'm going to have to sack one of my... Ooh, this is tough. He's Trample. He absolutely has Trample. Um, I think that's right. I think that's right. Oh, God. And I think that's right. I think this is all right. I have no idea. If I lose Brom, I'm going to be sad pandas. Please let me... Okay, good. He had no... He... Oh, he leveled up. I got scared. Oh, my goodness. So now he's, what, a 2-8? He levels up as well. I figured. He's only 6-5, though. What is Rally again? Rally. If you don't have... Oh, he gets the attack token every turn. It's not great, but now I can make Brawn even beefier. So now my Brawn is a 5-8. Or a 5-something. He's a 5-something. So now he can literally take out anything that guy has. I can also now play my Puffs. Because it's 7, right? Let's play him. Whoa! So now this becomes a beefy boy. What do we got? 12-10. See, 12-10 and he gets every Q. So he's elusive and overwhelmed. Which is awesome, right? The only problem is I found it's very easy to get rid of him. With spells, so that's why I stopped playing this as much. Um, he goes, he grants an ally 2 2. That gives him 8 8. Okay, so now every time Brom attacks, he has 3 though. I'm gonna attack with him. Let's see how this plays out. If I regret it, I'm gonna regret it. But we'll see um, how it plays out. Let's see. Because all he needs to do, really, is beef his guy up three, who's attacking Brom, and I, and Brom is dead. And that would be unfortunate. I mean, I would get rid of his beefy guy, but Brom I want to put work into because he manufactures Poros for me. So, like, this turn, yep, now I'm going to get a beefy Poro at, what is it, 4-4? I don't know. Oh, yeah, there you go, 4-4. Four, four. And it shows you. I played one Poro snack, it gives a plus one, plus one. And now if I had another Brom or a plus three, plus three, I could play it and make him even beefier. This is why this deck works so well, because I think I have the synergy out perfectly. Alright, so I have two. I can grant someone elusive. He actually... Oh, they can't block him because he has elusive. I didn't realize that. Let's play... Uh, let's just play my Poro. Let's just play my Poro. I didn't realize he had elusive. That's why they couldn't block him. And he's a 5'10". So, unless he plays something huge, I can actually sack this because I have enough elusive out and play more daring Poros. That's what I'm going to do. Sag it, baby. Ooh, that's a good card. I got some of those. Uh, so let's... Whoops. Oh, yeah, no. Discard a card. <sighs> and now I can play... So, oh, they're two twos, though. That's not great. A two two isn't great. Round start. Okay, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'm okay. I'm not going to play my other, another elusive just in case. Keep it in the back burner. All right, so now it's my start. All right, so I can I can make a bunch of cards. I'm not going to. I'm just going to attack. Now. I think I won, right? Because they're elusive, but just in case. Let's kill him. And attack. Let's give the emoji that I won. And let's see, because he has no elusive out. So, he only has four health. So, even if he blocks my big boy right here, even if some magical way he kills the big boy, I still have enough in these two to kill him. Yep. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, that was because I went over? There you go. Boom. And that's game. Yes, I love this deck. This deck is so good. Mighty portals. Okay, so something else I'm noticing, which is kind of really sad... I don't know how good my deck actually is. And the, the reason for that is because I don't know if I'm versing people who've never played this game before and are just putting pulling it up on their phone because they're bored, or if I'm playing people who are actually into this game. 
So, like, there's no ranked mode that I can see. We have Adventure and Waits, which is an expedition. But this is draft and build your deck using champion spells and followers from all over Runeterra, even if they're not in your collection. So this, to me, sounds more like an arena-style game where you draft, you pull cards out of packs, and then just play to see who, uh, who wins. And then we have Gauntlet, but it's not open yet, so I can't tell you what that is. So I'm not seeing any ranked match, which, if I'm being honest... As much as I'm enjoying playing this game, if there's nothing like that in here, I don't see myself playing it in the long run. Because, like I said, I have this giant portal deck, which I'm really excited about, but there's no way to prove to myself, not to anyone else, there's no way to prove that this is an actual good deck, which kind of makes this whole fleeting. Like it, I know it sounds crazy, but in my mind, it makes this whole like not worth it because I can't tell if I'm getting any better or not. Like, I think I'm getting better with deck, with deck building in general, but I can't tell because I could be just playing people who are just bringing it up on their phone in the doctor's office because they're bored. That being said, that rant aside, let's open up our new golden chest. I, there are a lot of things I like about this game. That is one of the things I don't like is that I don't see a ranked match yet. Uh, okay, so we get... This is how I, I've been adding to my deck is these rare wild cards. This whole... I love this whole setup. That you just you literally earn all of your cards just by playing. That's a great setup. So we have an Alpha Wild Claw. I think I had that already. Uh, when I survive damage, grant me plus three plus zero. So that's kind of like brawn. Um, but it stays a three. All right. Um, get an empty mana gem and heal your Nexus three. Well, that uh, that's close to five though. Oof, oof. Uh, rare Wild Card, which is awesome, and then. Oh, we got more of these guys. The Avo Avrosan Outsider. I don't know Avros. I don't know how to say that. So it's Overwhelm. Oh, don't. Okay. Allegiance. Grant the top ally in your deck plus three plus three and Overwhelm. Overwhelm's Trample. That's a good card. That's a really good card. I'm going to have to put that in my deck. I don't know how, though. Oh, and we got Shards. So Okay, so the Shards... I hope I'm not screaming that loud because my OBS is going crazy right now. Uh, the shards is how you buy stuff, like cards and stuff. You can use shards to buy cards. <laughs> use shards to buy cards. Um, and then the coins are how you buy physical stuff. Like, So let's see, real quick, just because I'm, I'm interested, let's go to the store. Let's go to the boards. So these cost real money. And what I really like about this is these are all cosmetic. Uh, well, you can buy the starter bundle, but these, what does the starter bundle have in it? Oh, just cards. Okay, just cards. Um, you don't need, honestly, you don't need to buy the starter bundle. I'm getting so many cards just by playing. Um, these are all cosmetics. The only thing you can really buy is cosmetics. Oh, no, there's a deck here. I guess you could buy cards, but there's, but there's no reason to. Like, yeah, you can buy wild cards too, but there's really no reason to. Which I really like. They give you cards enough where it kind of outsuits what is this. But, okay, but this is, this is, see, this is what I love. I'm willing to spend whatever 990 is. Uh, well, I don't want to say that yet. Because I don't know what 990 is. To get, but this is what you spend money on. This is what you spend money on. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the music changes when you get a new board. Oh, and they even show you pictures of what it looks like in different areas. That's cool. That's a nice touch. See, now, this is... So, I'm going to come back here. Where are my guardians? Are they any, have any different portals? Portal? No, I don't see any new portals. Oh, they have some cute creatures here, though. Oh, my God. Card backs. Oh, look at all these... Co see? But I have no... I have no problem spending all my money on cosmetics. As long as it doesn't affect the play style of the game, I will spend my money on it if I'm enjoying the game. Because I want to actively give it back to the developers. They have emotes. <gasps> oh. I want all of these. Oh, no. Okay. It. What is this? Purchases? I haven't purchased anything. Huh? Oh, with my wild cards. Oh, that's cool. So you can see all of your purchases. Like, okay. I've been playing for what? Okay, this is September 2nd. So, for two days, I've been playing. And look at all the stuff I was able to buy. With no real money. This is just stuff they gave me by playing. All these wild cards. And these shards. I used to buy cards. 
Like, that's amazing. Okay, developers, if you're listening, if you happen to be listening, I know you're probably not, but if you happen to be listening, please add some kind of, some kind of ranked mode, because then I will be sucked in this game just like I am Magic. Please. Oh, all right. Well, with my rants over, I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, little... I don't know, I guess this was a deck sh uh, showcase, I, even though I only showcased one deck. Well, I hope you enjoyed this deck showcase. Uh, if you did, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you didn't, leave a comment in the comment section below anyway. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like, what you want to see on the channel. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, stay pixel perfect.